Hi, and welcome to ActaChef. My name is Tracy Khawand, and I'm a Lebanese high school student. I'm an artist, and I'm an innovator. ActaChef is a unique program that encourages the youth based in the Middle East to transform their passion for photography, videography, printing into a rewarding career. Designed and created to support the artistic visions of the youth, the competition is open to individuals between the ages of 14 to 25. The program is divided into four modules. Collectively, these modules serve as tools to help you launch and designing your creative career and a successful business. The final prize awarded to the winner of the competition includes a 15,000 dirham cash prize, 15,000 dirham worth of Canon products, and a year-long membership at a local entrepreneurship incubator where the winner can launch his or her businesses. Collectively, these modules serve as tools to help you design and launch your creative business. The first module challenges youth to find their artistic voices. Modules 2 to 4 guide you through the process of developing a business concept, portfolio and website. The second module of the program is focused on helping you get started on your path towards your creative journey. The 21st century has completely redefined the path that young adults have to take to, to thrive in life and even to survive. It's always run, run, run. From the moment we enter high school and the pressure and the competition builds as individuals struggle to come on top and reach the expectations that society has placed on them. This has pulled a lot of disruption in our society and we see fewer and fewer people take that risk and follow their passion. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to follow a fixed path. You could define your own. You could uh, follow your passion and your dreams. The sky is the limit. So no one would define your life for you. You're the one who's gonna make the choices and you're the one who's gonna live that life. So live the life you wanna live. Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm here to help you get started on your creative career. So I was born and raised in Lebanon and I've lived there my entire life until recently I've had to move after the blast. So me and my whole family, which would be my parents and my two younger brothers. So I was diagnosed with GIA. I was about, I think, eight or nine years old. GIA is known as juvenile idiopathic arthritis, which is a form of arthritis, but only seen in younger children. Um, we don't know much about it, which is why it's called idiopathic, which literally means unknown. So I've decided to make my project about collecting the data and making it available to, to deepen the research and, and find better treatments. Because I know that we struggle a lot and I've struggled a lot to find treatments and I have went to great lengths to find them, even if they weren't available in certain regions of the world. Which is why I've decided to create a platform that would automatically recognize this valuable data, collect it into a single place and make it available for, for research. I've called my project L Mindset because I think that everything's about mindset. Everything is, is about how you perceive, how you're gonna react to everything that happens to you. So this platform could potentially become a big thing if it's used by, by labs or hospitals to collect many data, not just for JIA or some diseases. It could become a really big thing. So since I'm still a high school student, I can only do so much. So I'm gonna be focusing on digitizing my doctor's files. And since she's the only one in Lebanon, it would be digitizing most of Lebanon's data since we're missing a national database. I started the project in about October 2020. I didn't have any experience at the time. I still don't have much, which is proof that you don't have to have a specific skill set to get into your passion and do what you want to do in life. You just have to get the correct tools and start working. As kids, people often overlook what you have to say and will often not believe in the ideas that we have or believe. But that's a direct result of the fact that they were all subjected to the rat race and they were all formatted to believe that your dreams or following your passion won't pay off. But dreams and passion are what define our future. If no one took the risk in the first place to follow their dream or their idea, we would be missing some of the world's greatest inventions. Everything starts with an idea. A moment where you experience or look at something that's gonna light that fire in you. With changing times and technological progress, we now have the tools to learn and create whatever we want from wherever we may be. Everything that I've achieved so far has been largely done and managed by myself. Technically speaking, I wouldn't say that my business is in the field of print, 
but it's a great example of how print could be utilized in multiple businesses. All businesses, whether small or large, have a need for and use the print media in some form or another. Print in itself offers a number of career options. It's a great way to produce whatever you want. You could print on mugs, print on t-shirts, it's more than just books and magazines. Thanks to innovations in print technology and the world of media and design, you can now do anything and create whatever you want, like using mediums, for example, 3D printing to create art prints or even figurines. Print is also a part of our daily life. We see prints wherever we go, from labels to newspaper and magazine and billboards. Everything involves print in some way or another, regardless of where you are, which is basically what makes it such a versatile and creative career. A print design job can take you into various aspects of media and entertainment. It can also lead you to a different path through graphic design careers or something like that. Many industries require printed products like product packaging, brochures, catalogs, those physical and tangible items that require printed artwork. So whether you're an artist looking to release your own line of products or choose to become a print house that specializes in meeting the needs of the market, there's a scope and growth potential in the field. In fact, in the next five to 10 years, print, digital and creative media is set to grow even more as we develop new technologies. So for all you creators out there, know that starting your business is not far off or difficult. With the help of a basic setup, like a laptop, a printer, a scanner, anything you need, some time, a solid plan and dedication, you too could have a successful business in no time. And Canon is here to help you get started on that journey. Passion is an emotion to be acted upon. Without action, passion yields no worthwhile results. Passion is the fuel in the fire of the action. When you have passion for something, you love it even when you hate it. The important point here is that there's an emotion that requires you to act upon it. A passion is a love or conviction so deep that you feel compelled to act upon it. It's the thing that keeps you up at night and gets you out of bed in the morning and keeps you thinking about what you're gonna do next. Everything starts with an idea. And if you have the conviction or belief that your concept can change the world, then nothing can stop you. If people don't believe you, you'll just have to make them believe. It's easy to give up and move on. But by giving up on your idea or dream, you might also be closing off the door for others like you who might believe they're not good enough. That's why programs like Canon Actashif are so important because they not only help the youth and encourage them to follow their dreams and passions, but they also help them turn that into a career. To help you better understand the journey to turning your passion into a career, here are some points that you should keep in mind. Take your time. Creating a business takes time probably more time than you think. But taking this time is important as it helps you think, analyze, and understand everything that you will need to create your business and get it off the ground. Don't rush things. Take the time to research, to get inspired, to create, to learn, and to grow. You should define what makes your idea or concept unique. What makes you different? What makes you stand out from others like you? Figure out why a customer should buy and listen to you instead of the guy down the street. You really need to define what you could do, who you want to work with, and how do you want to present your services or product. Once you've clarified all of this, you need to determine if there's a need for your concept on the market. Then we move on to resources and support. Do you have the skills required to do it alone or will you need professional help? There's nothing wrong with asking for help and getting support. More often than not, there are many aspects to a business that we may not be aware of or have the skills or knowledge in. Test, plan and execute. So you've defined the concept of your business, you've defined the idea. Go ahead, test it out, try it out with friends, family, anyone. Get people involved, get samples, see how it works. This would give you an idea of what it would look like and help you work out any issues or problems. Once you're done planning out your concept or project, from the moment it should be launched to 10 years from now, look at every aspect and angle to see what would work best for you. Once you've done all that, it comes down to seeing your concept come to life and supporting it every step of the way. Build your brand. Your story, your experience, your background and personality, those are what make your brand unique, just like you. So this is what's gonna attract people to your brand, to your concept specifically. Your energy and your story is what will attract soulmate clients to you. To make your business successful, it's important to constantly market yourself. You need to promote your business, get it out there, expose it to as many people as you can. Understand your market. 
the most important thing to do in setting up a business is to do market research. It's the process of determining the viability of a new service or product through conducted research directly with potential customers. Market research allows a company to discover the target market and get opinions or feedbacks about their service or product. Funds and finances. Finding the funds to support your business or getting investors to invest is the most crucial part in starting a business. Money is for better or worse the lifeblood of any business. Without it, you cannot sustain the model or operations for your business, which is why it's important to establish funds beforehand. Some mediums you can look into are loans, angel investors, crowdfunding, and partnerships. Remember, it may not be easy, but anything seldom is. Work hard and pave your own path. You'll see the results and they're gonna be worth it. With my idea, I hope to one day create something that can benefit a group of people and eventually society as a whole. Similarly, there are now blossoming groups of artists, creators, entrepreneurs whose ideas and concepts are currently changing the world and you could be one of them. So I'm here to tell you to go. Go and create, go and research, go and hustle, but just go and keep going. As inventors, artists and creators, but most importantly as humans, we all perceive and experience life differently. And this difference is what sets us apart. It's what allows us to view the world from a different point of view. And this difference could be the start of something new. I hope that the insights to my story inspire you all to go out and take your life by the reins. You have the power to change and mold your future and build our future society. To enter the competition, simply follow the guidelines on the website. Go to en.canon-me.com forward slash actashif dash program forward slash. I hope watching this video gave you the push you needed to get you started and I wish the best of luck to all of the participants.